I'd like to tie for you a purple and black bluegill jig. The hook I have in the vise is a 132nd ball head jig and it came in chartreuse with a eye and I just took black nail polish and colored the uh, head to a black. The thread I'm going to use is 6 aught 70 denier and black. And I'm going to put the thread on. And bring it back. And we're going to stop right where the barb would, would have been. And remove the excess. And now, because I like this stuff so much, I'm going to use purple ostrich hurl. Ah, there's about eight, I guess, here. And I'm going to make them the length of the jig. These are really nice. They, they swim really nice, the uh, ostrich hurl. It looks blue on the film, but it is purple. And I'm going to remove the excess. Okay, now I'm going to take black floss. And I'm going to tie that in right there. Gather up all the excess and remove that. Go. I'm going to take a single ostrich hurl and I'm going to tie that in because I'm going to use that for the ribbing. And tie that off towards the back. I'm going to bring my thread back up to right behind the lead of the jig. And we're going to wrap the black floss and I have probably 12 inches of it here and I'm going to go back and forth on it just trying to fill it in just a bit Watch the barb of the hook because it will cut the floss really easy. And I'm going to go up the jig up the lead and I'm carrying my thread up with it and I'm going to stop there and tie it off and yeah, just about half a jig head and back of the jig head and bring it back and tie it down Black thread, black floss, not a big deal. Plus we're going to put another material in there. And now I'm going to take the ostrich hurl and palmer it forward.
and we get to the front and take that off you just break it off yeah now the hackle on the front I have a purple saltwater hackle and this was from the top of the cape. I'm going to tie it in. Right there in back of the ball. But I'm going to bring it back and start it. Just in front of my ribbing. And I'm going to hold it up. Straighten it out, hold it up, and bring the hackles to the one side. There we go, we have them all on towards one side. And then we're going to wrap it. And stroke them towards the back as you go. and wrap that right up to the ball itself. And we're going to tie that off. And remove the excess. And we can take any hackle barbels that were sticking forward and just pull them back. Oop. And give it a few securing wraps right in back of the jig head. And take our whip finisher. It. Remove your thread. Hold the hackles back and put a little bit of head cement right on that. And here we have a purple and black bluegill jig. This will look like a damselfly hatching, perhaps, but it's going to be very lively and it's going to take them in deeper water. That's the important part. We got one thirty second jig head to let it descend slow so you don't get way down into those lee weeds. But in the summertime, you fish in a little deeper water and you get some really big bluegills. Okay, I hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you for watching my videos.